so let's get started with some some learning also today among all the uh, logistics and all so what is ai right so i think you all know many many different definitions so i'll ask you all to just put uh, maybe one liner maybe few of you if you're excited that what is ai according to you so there are many definitions of ai at a different uh, complexities right so the first definition which I'll give you today is AI is a system that can perform tasks that normally requires human intelligence. So basically all the things which require human intelligence, we can create an AI. Now I said all the things in a general term, of course there are things which probably many, many expert humans can do which AI cannot do today. But hopefully in the future we are trying to create that system. But a general definition is all the important, interesting, intelligent tasks which you see humans are able to do, AI can do that. Now, human is just a benchmark because the smartest organism around us is a human, but that doesn't mean that AI cannot surpass humans. So there are many tasks where AI not only mimics, but it can also surpass. Surpass means it can become better than humans. Like it, it is a better in English knowledge. Um, Chad GPT has better English knowledge than me. Chad GPT knows more about Indian history than me because of all the things it has learned. So there are, there are things where it can surpass us very easily. The human is just like a benchmark because it's like the smartest uh, intelligence which we are aware of, and we are trying to beat that. Uh, so real system like around us, like like AI can write like humans, the chat GPT, essays, blogs, and it can even code. AI can talk like humans, like AI power text to speech, speech to text. If you ever use Siri or Alexa or like Google Now, it can talk like us. It can see like us. Basically, it can recognize objects, text in images. It can recognize many, many things in images, like even automatic uh, like number plate readers and all. It can see like humans. It can talk like humans. It can write like humans. It can even detect patterns better than humans. So there are sometimes like you and me cannot detect cancer, very complexities and whatnot, but AI can predict like. So it can detect things which even a specialized human can do. And sometimes even doctors are not able to detect that early, which AI can detect. So that's kind of what I meant that mimicking human intelligence, but all the things around you, writing like humans, talking like humans, seeing like humans, all of this is happening today all of, with all of us. And that's like, what, what are the real AI systems around us? But the goal is not just to uh, create human capabilities. Like we want to move beyond human capabilities. So for example, there are many things which require years of expertise. Uh, so this is like an important thing to speak in Punjabi as well. So both sariyan chijya sanu sikhanu matlab das pandra vi saal lag jande nek doctor banante. But like that's what AI AI doctor de tarah rare disease disease diagnose badi asani nal kar den diya. So AI can diagnose rare diseases. That's like the goal of AI today. Jado apna kine age of intelligence, age of AI, we are trying to beat human intelligence. So we are trying to advance it to a level where all of us combined are still not able to beat the AI. That is the goal kind of thing of many, many big companies and even countries are trying to do that. Jira software error fix karnavaste sanu team of software engineers chai this. See, there's an AI capable to do that. That's like the goal. Uh, like a language translator. You want to do perfect language translation with a perfect accuracy. Maybe an expert can do that, but an AI can also do that. An expert has learned it for many, many years. An AI can do that for us. So how is AI created? Like that is the fundamental question. How are we able to create it? So let me give you some simplified steps and then we'll go through these steps in the lectures again and again and to map it to real use cases. So steps in creating AI like at a high level are these kind of things, these four steps which you see. We'll start with data. This is like the input to the AI. We will select the intelligence which we are after. You can select a neural network, you can select a simple model, basically, but you will select the complexity of intelligence. And then we will train that intelligence or we'll train AI so that it's able to reduce mistakes. And then we will evaluate or test AI, how good the results are. These are the four steps which goes into creating AI almost at every place at a high level. There's data. So Jovi AI, for example, images. Images are the data. Text, text is the data. So there's the data input to AI. Then complexity like how much capable brain you want to create what is the complexity of the model you want to create what is the complexity of ai you want to create you you will select the complexity of intelligence 
for example a google like company the intelligence which is running gemini is extremely complex that llm or large language model is very very big but for us for the toy problems we will start with a simple intelligence a simple baby and then we'll make it more complex training ai there there are many ways to train ai we'll we'll talk about it but at a high level our goal is to reduce mistakes that when ai is learning over time it should become perfect and perfect and we will check how many mistakes are happening these mistakes are also called error of the ai loss of the ai in the technical terms but for a school student you can think like you want to reduce mistakes and then we'll test also to make sure how good our ai is so if there are any issues there we'll again go back and fix the things so any big company does this thing again and again so simplified steps we start with the data we select ai we train ai and then we test ai and all these things happen in a simplified manner i'll stop here uh, are there any questions here you can uh, raise, raise your hands or you can also write it in the chat okay so for example let us try to map these things to an ai team at amazon so i had shown this example in one of the earlier orientation but let me again take take a quick look so if you log in into amazon and you have you have buy, buy certain things from amazon you will see there is some things like it will try it will start showing you related items you have viewed or more items to consider so these are related items or more items are like actually ai models running behind which are telling you what you what you can buy so this is an amazon recommender system uh, if you actually ever use amazon uh, just give me a thumbs up if you actually ever used amazon okay all of all of you uh, have you ever seen something like this related item if you have seen just put it in the chat okay so in general i think uh, do you all understand what recommendation is as a term so recommendation is bibiyan jandiyan bazaar vich jandiyan dukan te suit len oh ek suit lendi ne te pai tin char hor kad dinda hai ke tanu eh pasand aayega that's not random ohna ne purane past to bahut sikhya hunda hai ke pehla ek je len aaiyan si to ohna ne tin char je kadde te ek hor leh gayiyan ne so sujha dinde ne tade dimag ch ek subtle tarike nal ke aa vi tanu pasand aa sakda hai aa vi tanu pasand aa sakda hai so that is a recommendation system ke tusi jiddan diyan cheezan khareedde ho ohde naal related hor cheezan tade akhan de samne oh lya ke khadiyan kar dinde ne ਕਿ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਵੀ ਖਰੀਦ ਕੇ ਕੁਝ ਲੈ ਜਾਓ ਯਾ ਗੋਇਡ ਦੈਟਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਅ ਉਹ ਸਿੰਪਲ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਆ ਰეკਮੈਂਡੇਸ਼ਨ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਦੀ ਦੈਟਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਅ ਸਿੰਪਲਰ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਕਵਰ ਸਮ ਆਫ ਦ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਡਿਟੇਲਸ ਇਨ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਇਨ ਦੀ ਐਂਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਫੋਰ ਦ ਲਾਸਟ 15 ਮਿੰਟਸ ਦੈਟਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਮਾਈ ਗੋਲ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ ਸੋ ਡੋਨਟ ਵਰੀ ਸੋ ਦ ਡਾਟਾ ਸਿਲੈਕਟ ਏਆਈ ਟ੍ਰੇਨ ਏਆਈ ਟੈਸਟ ਏਆਈ ਵਿਲ ਟ੍ਰਾਈ ਟੂ ਮੈਪ ਦਿਸ ਟੂ ਰੀਅਲ ਐਮਾਜ਼ਨ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਬਟ ਐਮਾਜ਼ਨ ਜਦੋਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਰეკਮੈਂਡੇਸ਼ਨ ਦਿਖਾਉਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਦ ਵੇ ਐਮਾਜ਼ਨ ਇਸ ਸ਼ੋਇੰਗ ਯੂ ਰეკਮੈਂਡੇਸ਼ਨਸ it's based on this pipeline like they have developed an ai for example for this ai amazon need your all the user history like whatever you purchased in the past user browsing history customer reviews like all the reviews based on similar customers what, what are the ratings and so on behavior patterns like how much time spent on certain products whatever carts you abandoned all of these things together uh, are telling what you are going to buy next so from all this data we are going to select then the ai so data is basically data is trying to tell what other users did what you did what the similar customers are rating and so on so amazon has very very large data sets from all of us using all these things uh, they are able to train a simple model or a neural network this is like they are able to select complexity of ai so we will try to see how these both models perform once you have selected the data the ai then you are able to train it and test it now in this first lecture we are not learning how to train and test but it's just giving you a flavor that a real system like amazon is also the data selection of ai training ai and testing ai all these four steps are done even by amazon but basically uh, all this mapped to anything now like you can map it to any other system as well data is your data ai selection is done by their engineers then they train it on like their powerful machines which are called gpus and then they are, they, are, they are able to test it now in here uh, let me know how many of you actually understood up till here the data selection of ai training ai testing ai give me a thumbs up so until now we were just covering the logistics and everything 
or introduction but this is where we are starting to teach you now i want to make sure that you are able to understand as i proceed further now if you have any questions we are not able to understand please write it in the chat uh, i will again take I, a look after this. yeah there are a few questions regarding language actually they want you to explain punjabi so yes so we will start explaining in punjabi like after 7 45 the last 15 minutes i'll again go through some of the important things to explain in punjabi as well so over the last part of the lecture we'll keep the explanations in punjabi so the people who are not able to understand they can follow along as well don't worry so um, so all the details which you want to learn the coding for ai python will, will be around handling data defining intelligence training ai and then we'll see whether the AI is working or not, and then we'll try to even test it. So all the coding which we are going to do for in this course will be around AI only. Data manipulation, handling data, intelligence, training, visualizing, and metrics to test, OK? So like you were asking questions about coding, this is what we are going to learn in the coding. So welcome to the course. Uh, the goal is actually to develop real applications using AI, understanding AI, and learning Python for AI. And also, we'll try to demystify how you can target top carriers using AI. Um, in your free time, feel free to explore my Python for ML. This is some of the early videos which I put on my channel. Uh, first, I had created these videos for some of the friends who were trying to learn it. So these are very nice starting points. And before our next class next week, if, if you have time, you can watch some of these videos. And you can get a little bit more understanding into many of these concepts. And you can a little bit go through it slow, slow pace as well. So I'll put this in the chat. And now the next part is actually uh, uh, we'll start uh, explanations in Punjabi in two, three minutes. But next part is actually that are there any questions now from, uh, from the people before we start uh, explanations in, uh, say, in Punjabi? So, yeah, there are a few in the chat. Um, so six months of this course can help me have a career in AI. Is that possible? Yes, it is possible. Uh, I want to say a few things. Like, uh, um, so nobody can guarantee a career uh, to anyone. It really depends on your hard work. But there will be enough material and guidance from our side and practical aspects of AI that you can actually do this. So practically, actually means that so your school curriculums, university curriculums are probably trying to teach you some things. Um, but they often, in my experience, are outdated. So this will be much more relevant to what you see in industry. So it really depends on your skill set and knowledge, uh, understanding capabilities to learn. But definitely you can. Yeah, uh, so uh, will this course help me become an app developer? Then there's another one that how to develop any application. I think in, in general, what that how it, how will I help them in conquering those past careers, you know, web, web developing, app developing, and all that? <laughs> So uh, I think web app development are amazing careers. A lot of uh, a lot of job opportunities. Those careers have also a little shifted that web app developers are also beginning to use AI a lot. This course will teach you AI around AI there are many many domains. So you will have basics now to enter and use it in your own way. Uh, like web and app development are their own courses. They are they are amazing fields. We will initially focus in the course on AI for the first introductory part. So the goal is actually to equip you with something which is so much new today. Web app development started many years ago. It's still in fashion. A lot of people are amazingly doing that. A lot of hiring is happening there. But the trend has shifted. So actually, there are nice web app development courses as well online, probably. Uh, if you kind of are interested, you can message me privately, and I'll try to share some of the resources I know. But in this course, we will learn AI, mostly focused on AI. So, yeah, so someone wants to know about difference between um, AI and IT is information technology, the one. Yeah, yeah. So I, I can just you can add on to it. So in AI, we generally create um, intelligent systems, mostly to automate the things. And that's the definition. I think uh, clearly we went through it. So IT is mainly regarding the infrastructure and systems regarding the data processing.